Hello YouTube, it's me here again. Uh, we have another Sato. This one is the 170 Archery. Full gas conversion with your magnet ring, sensor bracket uh, and your gas carb there. Um, this carb is from RCGF um, range of 20cc engine have the right uh, venturi for this uh, size uh, engine without a reducer to the back as you can see there's just a truck there this is a nine millimeter carb works brilliantly um, this combo as you could see the intake it's gold so this is my new modified intake on that um, each cylinder feed direct from the center instead of going through the w shape as on the original um, engine um, this engine is my personally I got this on a really good deal so I bought it myself um, that's why it's have all these various different color so the intake is gold I'm gonna do, do some um, caps as well these caps I'm gonna redo them with some heat sink um, machine around it as well so it will help um, heat disappear quite easily as well this that's my next mod for this engine um, idles happily a 1200 um, the spring on the carb is a bit stiff at the moment need a bit of workout um, otherwise than that it holds the RPM steady at 1200 uh, you could get it lower than that but um, it just depends on your application what you're gonna use the engine for um, the prop I'm running, it's uh, 18 by 6 the prop you want to get it with this, it's uh, 6900 on the top RPM. I'm quite happy with that performance so far. Um, Kilio exhaust ring, um, this is a new design that Kilio bring out. These ones as well fit the FG-33 R3 engine and it fits the FA 200 archery as well and this um, this 170 archery it's one thing to point out if you sticking with your glow carb um, you will have to use some sort of a flex to get to your adjusting needle here as you could see the uh, the exhaust is right in that space there you could see the hole so you need to get something that could bend around or a piece of wire um, to get your needles, your high adjuster needles set settings. Otherwise than that, I love the exhaust, really good sound and stuff like that. So enough of the talking, let's give it a start and see how it's going to go.
so as you can see transition is really good um, with this engine with the carb combo um, as well this is the RCXL unit um, can work from uh, 6 volts right up to 3 cell LiPo which is 11.1 11, 11 um, to the top of my head I'm not 100% sure don't judge me about that uh, but yeah you could get a 3 cell LiPo with no regulator needed with this um, new uh, design ignition um, so from 6 volts right up to 12 volts um, as well as you can see um, each cylinder um, is have really good um, temperature, even temperature about. Transition is really good. That's why I said this engine is my personal. I'm gonna keep it till I get an aircraft to put it in. Um, fuel I'm running, it's uh, 20 to 1 mix. Um, that's what I run in my engines. Um, it's down to you what fuel. Um, I like to keep it oily, so. The bottom bearings could get oil and stuff like that. Um, I do get quite a lot of questions about that, why it's so oily mix. Um, but these engines not designed around gas, so if you want to protect your engine, have a high um, percentage of oil, won't hurt it. We we'll just keep it nice and um, smooth on the inside. So. so I think pretty much that's it for this uh, engine. I have a um, as you can see, I think this one is the Seito 125 um, coming up next. Um, this one is full gas can version as well. You can see the same carb here, uh, 9mm Venturi, which is perfect. Um, have a new intake um, because of the bend, uh, you couldn't get the carb to sit steady, so you have to, uh, to design a new intake there. Um, little bracket there to keep the carb nice and steady so i'm gonna do a video with this one now um, so that's it stay tuned for more great videos to come cheers bye